हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू फार्मास्यूटिकल कंसेप्ट दिस स्लाइड वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन माय अर्लियर वीडियो ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एनालिसिस वेर वी हैड सीन वॉट डज स्टैंडर्ड सोल्यूशन एग्जैक्टली मीन इन फार्मास्यूटिकल एनालिसिस और इन वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एनालिसिस नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड सोल्यूशन दैट इज प्राइमरी स्टैंडर्ड एंड सेकेंडरी स्टैंडर्ड what are the various types properties and examples of primary standard and secondary standard that we will be seeing in this video primary standards are the substances which are extremely pure highly stable which have low reactivity highly stable means low reactivity which are anhydrous less hygroscopic they have high molecular weight which can be weighed easily ready to use and readily available which are non toxic not expensive they should not be expensive actually and which are readily soluble in the given conditions those are the primary standards and on the other hand secondary standards they have less purity than primary standards they are less stable as compared to primary standard so if they are less stable means they are highly reactive they are more reactive than the primary standards but their solution if we make their solution in suitable solvent it can remain stable for certain period of time and these are titrated against primary standards okay so let us see more about them primary standard as i told you these are used in titration to determine an unknown concentration and they are used in many other analytical techniques since they have high equivalent weight they have high molecular weight we can say that weighing is easy i mean the errors would be lesser while weighing them these are non hygroscopic this should be non hygroscopic right why to reduce changes in mass in humid versus dry environments because if the substance is hygroscopic when i'm weighing this hygroscopic substance on the weighing balance okay in this period when i'm weighing it it tends to absorb moisture from the atmosphere and that moisture will also be uh, counted while weighing it on the digital balance okay therefore it should not be hygroscopic now the substances which are commonly employed as primary standards are mentioned here for acid based titrations we usually use sodium carbonate sodium tetraborate potassium hydrogen thalate potassium hydrogen iodate as the some of the examples of primary standards for complexometric titrations we usually use pure metals like zinc copper magnesium manganese and salts depending upon the reaction used for precipitation reactions silver silver nitrate sodium chloride potassium chloride and potassium bromide can be used as the primary standards further for oxidation reduction titrations potassium dichromate potassium bromate potassium iodate sodium oxalate and certain pure ions can be used or pure iron can be used as the primary standard let us see some of the examples of secondary standards and their characteristics we have seen that these are titrated against primary standards what does this statement mean this mean secondary standard is a chemical that has been standardized against primary standard for its use in specific analysis that means standardization means this secondary standard for example if i have weighed or if i have prepared 0.1 molar naoh which is the secondary standard whether its molarity is really 0.1 molar or not if i have prepared this sodium hydroxide 0.1 molar today morning by today evening if it is really 0.1 molar still 0.1 molar that i have to check 
by titrating this against the primary standard okay and then only i can use this 0.1 molar naoh for the other reactions in some other experiment secondary standards are commonly used to calibrate analytical methods these are prepared in laboratory as i told you i have prepared this 0.1 molar naoh in laboratory by weighing this naoh pellet and by dissolving it in suitable volume of water it is a solution in which the concentration of dissolved solute for example uh, if i am talking about the same example of 0.1 molar naoh so here solute means the naoh so concentration of naoh in this 100 ml 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution can be determined not from the weight of naoh which i have added in this 100 ml of water but by reacting it by reaction of a volume of solution against a measured volume of primary standard solution okay this mean when i say that i have prepared 100 ml of 0.1 molar naoh so to prepare this 100 ml of 0.1 molar naoh i have weighed certain quantity this quantity i know how much i have weighed and this i have added in 100 ml of water so not from the weight but this water suppose 10 ml i am taking from here this i will be titrating with the standard solution for example potassium hydrogen thalate which can be used here as the primary standard so the acid base reaction is involved over here since potassium hydrogen thalate is a weak acid the base naoh is an example of secondary standard commercially available sodium hydroxide contains impurities of sodium chloride sodium carbonate and sodium sulfate and it has tendency to absorb atmospheric mo moisture so that means it is deliquescent to determine concentration of sodium hydroxide in a solution it is titrated against primary standard weak acid such as potassium hydrogen thalate and there are uh, some other examples also of the secondary standard for example potassium hydroxide uh, sulfuric acid potassium uh, or sodium dichromate these are certain examples of secondary standards Thank you very much for watching till the end. If you are new to my channel, do subscribe and keep watching. If you have any queries, any doubts, you can post in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer your queries. Thank you. Have a nice day. All the best.